was good overall. I'm just realizing a couple of things we need to do. One is probably dispense with that melody of bar 55. Bar 55. And the first, my first, and my solo. Okay. Probably get rid of that, and you take the first solo. Okay. And that way, I can set up the outhead. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I, I forgot that it was so soon. I thought maybe no, there was a vamp or something. But it just, it's we just can not, do it the same way, and I can, I can do it. You it's know. not comfortable though. I think it'll be a little hipper if I play those rhythms at the end of my solo, and then you're ready to come in. Sure. Yeah. Other than that arrangement note, and then just a couple little rough things, I think that was good. Yeah. I, I might take three choruses instead of two. I could just take one if you want. Keep Why don't you one. take two and I'll take three? Okay. How long, Tom, how long was that? Oh, really? My albums typically don't have themes. I, I just try to create a good set of music that people are gonna wanna listen to from the beginning to the end. Um, so, you know, music that will kind of contrast, uh, some new stuff, and every time I do record music I try to stretch the boundaries of what I'm capable of doing, not stay in my comfort zone. Um, and basically it's, it's making uh, music that stands on its own that other musicians are going to want to listen to and that other uh, people who like jazz music, no matter who they are, are going to want to listen to. So everything just worked out the way I the way I'd imagined, but the fun part of it is that it's beyond what I could have imagined or anticipated. And that's really kind of one of the main reasons we play jazz, is because it's not all planned out. Like you kind of create a framework for everybody to play. Everybody's uh, there's a lot of interaction. And you create that framework and then hope the magic happens. Are the headphones on? The headphones aren't on. Alright. Uh, I'll take the first solo. James, you come in with that melody at bar 55. And the first chorus of my Only the first chords on it, only two choruses, I guess. And then you take a couple choruses. There's no rests in it, so it, it, it shouldn't be too fast, otherwise it's like it's sound. I think, yeah. So then how do you want to do those solos? You come in, the rhythm section comes in at nine? Uh, yeah, yeah, the first okay. time, only the first time. I wanted to bring something that was going to be kind of counterpoint to how Peter writes and uh, kind of created, you know, another dynamic for everyone to play. The song came out of uh, came out of the context of a lot of the music I grew up listening to. It has a lot of rock and blues influence and uh, in it, but then I was really influenced at the time uh, by West African music and uh, how there's a uh, uh, layers, that, how they use pentatonics, but also how there's different rhythmic layers of the parts. So that was a big part of uh, the music. The song really, it has uh, just five notes. It's a pentatonic scale in the melody, but um, using those layers, you get a lot of material. And uh, it leaves it open to the improviser to interpret harmonically and rhythmically what they can do with it.
Yeah, cats. That was good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we need to do another one. I mean, is it going to be any better?